Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raymo Orr. Why the world will soon stop eating meat. I know all the vegetarians and all the vegans are saying yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a vegetarian myself, but this is not a video about being vegan. This is not a negative video. This is a video to explain to you why the world is going to become vegan anyway Plus something small that I want to add for my viewers that will make you kind of change your perspective about the whole meat industry right now, the negativity that is aligned with it. We need to understand something. The world on a spiritual level is mirroring back to us different things that we need to learn as human beings, as humanity. Yes, it happens on the low level of a single human being and then on a partnership or relationship and then on your city or your religion or your country but then there's the lessons that the whole world sees together for example war why does war happen because we are still conflicted within ourselves so the same thing happens with the animal kingdom the animal kingdom is reflecting back to us the cruelty that we have inside ourselves, as we create conflicts, as human beings kill other human beings, lions tear the meat out of other animals, and of course all predators do the same. Now what I'm talking about is the future of humanity. And there's two things here. The first is the one that I just started talking about, which is the future animal. Move out of your comfort zone on a spiritual base and start understanding that the leaps in consciousness of human beings and the vibrations that we encounter here are huge. Within 7,000 years, human beings have learned to read, write, They've learned agriculture, they learned manufacturing, they learned technology. That's just 7,000 years. And they tell us that the universe is 14 billion years old. So imagine what type of a leap the animal kingdom will have over a course of say 10,000, 20,000 years when humanity will become peaceful. Because the understanding that I get in my meditations, the downloads that I receive, the intuition that I feel is that the animal kingdom is going to stop suffering. Now, those of you that think that plants suffer, you have to understand on a scientific level, plants do not suffer. They are here to support animals and human beings, but they also need to be loved. They send out a vibration, but they do not have a system of suffering. They do not feel like we do. Human beings have a tendency to humanize everything because we do not understand, we cannot have the perspective of something that is not a human being. People say that God has a wrath, God is jealous, God is fearful, but God is not something that we can truly understand because it is, it is the light and the darkness come together. It is a non-dual experience of everything. It is the knowledge without the knowledge. It is infinity without time and space. So we cannot humanize everything that we think is the proper way of seeing it. God is not only love, God is not only hate, God is everything together. If you want to call it God, you can call it the universe nature because I don't want you to align a religion with that thought and have the trauma that you experienced from your parents as a kid or from the expectations of your society and things like that. So what I'm telling you is that the future animal kingdom is not going to eat other animals. There will not be predators in the future. You will see that they align with what I see as the future of humanity and the future that I choose to emanate with my power as a co-creator, which is of peace, harmony, even a heaven-like state where human beings do not eat animals and animals do not eat other animals. Even if it's hard for you to grasp, if you start vibrating and understanding that this is feasible, the stomach, the system is going to alter and everybody will be plant-based or breatharian-like get more energy from the sun or from natural sources. Number two, and this is more present-like, is the industry. Now, what is happening now, and this will be without any suffering and without any war and without judging anybody else, is that the price 
of lab created meat is significantly declining. That means that right now, about 30% of water consumption goes towards raising the animals that human beings eventually eat. And right now a steak will cost you about $50 from a real animal. A good steak. But the price of the artificial animals that are created in a lab is declining more and more. Look at Beyond Meat. Look at the vegetarian options that we are actually receiving. And those meat lovers, which is 90% of human beings, it's pretty much everywhere. Don't think about the Western culture. What we are going to see within 10 to 15 years, when the lab created artificial meat, which is identical by the way, it's meat cells, it's exactly the same. It's the same as a cow, it's the same as a chicken. Nobody's going to tell the difference, but the power of the industry is going to make it that manufacturers, that restaurants, that people are going to buy this meat which is identical in taste, in flavor and in, in, and in content to real meat. And we're talking about 10 to 15 years, that's it. You have to be a little bit more patient. And then it doesn't matter if those people do not have the heart or the compassion for the meat industry, what is going to happen is naturally the industry which is money-based, is going to orient towards consumption of lab-created artificial meat. And then slowly, you won't need actual cows, you won't need actual chickens, you won't need to raise them, and you won't need to maintain them in the harsh conditions that they are maintained right now. And this is going to be a life-changing time for humanity. We're going to save a lot of forest, we're going to save a lot of water, everything is going to change and then vegetarians and then vegans can actually start eating this if they want of course this lab created meat if life choices were about a philosophy of being more compassionate of course if you did it just from health reasons then you probably won't go back to eating meat because it's still unhealthy <laughs> so these are the two points that i'm talking about one is very, very long range. Human beings will change, the vibration, the contract that we have with war will end and the animal kingdom will stop mirroring our cruelty. And the second is very, very short range, I suppose, or predict 10, 15 years, top 20, when we will see that everybody doesn't need to eat real meat anymore. And then we can celebrate because the suffering will end, yeah? I suppose a lot of my viewers have the same type of compassion that I have towards, you know, a better life for human beings and animals alike. So thank you very much for listening to me, my friends. Share this video if you enjoy it, like it and subscribe to my channel. Namaste and I will see you in my next video.